guys, it's Lynn here and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to show you how I made the um, tree skulk sensor trap. Now, um, to get started, um, all you need is make sure you have like a big-ish area. Um, I also recommend having a way to get out like this, um, just so like you don't set off the um, skulk sensor trap. So yeah, let's get started. So, you don't actually have to have a tree. Um, I think it just helps um, to make sure that whoever gets like whoever's the trap is made for actually um gets trapped in it you'd also make this like sort of under the house it will basically work anywhere i'd just recommend having someone to lure them in um so yeah um first off i would choose where to place tnt i'm gonna place that directly under my tree but you can let you place it anywhere you want um then you, what you want to do is have the um like have redstone going off to whoever the scorch sensor is um but don't place a scorch sensor yet um make sure you do cover all of this here so that no one actually su suspects anything um you don't have to place under the tree but you know you can if you want you don't actually have to place the grass there though um so all you need to do is just cover everything here up um now i have noticed something with the scorch sensor so um if you come down here, um, I'm gonna like place a torch so you can see. Um, I'm just gonna place like a few torches. Um, you see, I'm sneaking. Um, if I put, I'm gonna put a skulk sense here. See, if I sneak, if I'm, if I press shift and walk. Uh, when I'm shifting, it doesn't actually seem to set it off. Um, so yeah, um, if I just sneak walk all the way here and then get up and place here, you'll see that it actually shouldn't set off the trap. Um, so just remember, don't actually walk near it. Um, just make sure you don't walk near it until you're waiting for the um, actual person who's going to get trapped. So yeah, that's how you make the trap. Um, Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all later. Bye!